All right, here we go. Problem number 25 of 25. This is the last problem in our college algebra homework number six in my lab math. It says use properties of logarithms to condense the logarithmic expression. Write the expression as a single logarithm. Now those mean the same thing. Condense means to write as a single logarithm. So that was kind of redundant. Where possible, evaluate logarithmic expressions. So we've got this logarithmic expression, which may look like just a bunch of gibberish. But here, if you know how to read this, it says 2 times the natural log of x plus 4 times natural log of y minus 6 times natural log of z. And so we're going to use all of the properties of logarithms that we possibly can to condense this down to a single logarithm. So I've got my problem written down up here. Let's get started. First of all, let's list the properties of logarithms. We have the product rule. We have the quotient rule. And we have the power rule. Now, in a previous problem, in a previous video, we said that in order to expand, you do the quotient rule if you've got a fraction, and then the product rule, and last, the power rule. That was the order for expand. When you're condensing, the order is reversed, okay? So normally, when you're condensing, you're going to do the power rule first, if you have any logarithms that have uh, coefficients, and then next you can either do the product or power rule. Normally those are done in order from left to right, okay? So, but we're going to say uh, completely opposite one, two, and then three. But it's not always, that's not a hard and fast rule. But the, the first one is the power rule, okay? So the power rule says when you're condensing, if you have a coefficient, it's going to turn back into an exponent. So each one of these coefficients of the logarithm is going to turn back into an exponent of the variable. Do you see that's the power rule in effect? So what we're going to have, we're going to have the natural log of x squared plus the natural log of y to the fourth minus the natural log of z to the sixth. And I would like to point out, did you notice that this minus didn't go with the six? The minus stays there, only the six goes up. So that is the first step right there. What did we just do? We did the power rule first step. And then I said, when you're condensing, if you have a plus and a minus, you do them in order from left to right. So moving from left to right, the first two logs have a plus. That's the product rule, okay? So addition turns into multiplication. Okay, so these two logs become one, and their stuff gets times. That's the product rule, okay? Next, the next two logs have a subtraction, and that'll turn into a fraction. All right, so again, these two logs become one. And then we're going to F it up. We're going to fraction it up. The x squared y to the fourth, that's going to go on top, OK? So whoever is out front, whoever comes first is on top. And then the z to the sixth is on bottom. Got that? Subtraction turns into a fraction. That's the quotient rule. And did you notice we're now done? You know how we know we're done? Because now we have only one log. And so I would like to check that using Mathway. Now I've not tried this yet. We're going to see if Mathway will do it for us. So we're going to have two natural log x plus four natural log y minus six natural log z. Now let's see if it'll condense it for us. Oh look it asks us. 
What do you want? We want to write as a single logarithm, but we also want to condense. So I'm thinking we can choose either one of these. I'm going to go with the first one. And if I scroll down a little bit, look at that. Look at this compared to this. Exactly the same. So again, Mathway is a nice tool that will check your handwritten work, okay? And so now let's come over here to My Lab Math and see if My Lab Math likes it. Ln uh, fraction, who's on top? X squared, y to the fourth, over, make sure we're in the bottom, z to the sixth. Bam. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.